and it's a scatter which I'm going to hold. So we have to show the thing down, and then I will draw it down the set. The next technique, I'm going to just get into this position as if I was in the set. So the left posture is going to be set. One hand here holding the scatter, and I attempt to draw it out. This is important. But The, uh, the tantra we have here it is supposed to be in the scabbard. If it wasn't, I wouldn't put it near my belly. But now, I must hold the scabbard to draw the tantra. And again, to make the drawing easier, this foot must be there. Right. As the partner steps back, we push his elbow down so the tantor can't reach us. Tammy to the face, get this arm, and change grip. So, the sharp edge, the sharp one, Ah. Yeah, so, so we can draw as we were before. Now, let's go. Now, what's my main technique? Boy. With all, all attacks we've had to move out of ways, even more important now. <laughs> Maybe you can take a punch, but you can't take a step. So, very important to get the body right out of the way of that line, as well as parry. So you mustn't just rely on the parry. You must get the body out of the way, parry. And come underneath for this one. Again, for these 
strong grips, it's important to use all the fingers and the thumb. We don't want any fingers loose, so we pull it on. because you've got to do this a few times on the With the last technique in the kata for tanto, it's important to take the tanto from underneath here. So when it's, the tanto is drawn, the sharp edge comes towards the palm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar to Naname Uchi, the blows come in diagonally, in this case of the stabs come in diagonally, so I'm getting out the way and paring the stab down. Now the grip I take again, I did earlier, that one, and uh, getting down. Yeah, th this, again, is important where this thumb goes and the fingers, of course, but the fingers are naturally around the far side of his hand, and this thumb goes between the two bones of the little fingers. Okay. For any pressure, it goes on to them. So, um, we're actually changing hands here, so I'm using my left to get him down, now to hold him, my right is coming onto his hand that way. Looks like I might be cut, but this is the blunt side of the knife. That's a sharp side, so it doesn't hurt me. And I can get this grip and take the tongue tool. So I'm standing in the tank, I'm standing here, and I'm 
front and the back. Place it down the door and back. So the next part. So I'm here. As the stick and the arm go up and back, I'm coming forward to parry this. So even if he starts to come forward with the blow, I'm safe. Now, to get his balance weight, I'm coming under the chin, and this time doing that. Then it's right. This time, uh, the blow has taken his head up, so we're changing it to a cup under his chin to throw him. Earlier in the cut that we held the throat, but this is not the case here, it's a different one. So that is our finish. Um, because his head's going back, his weight is to the rear, easily thrown that to it. <laughs> So, uh, here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, in a standard cutter, I say leave the door. But you see that I, I'm tempted to take it off. <laughs> Yeah. 
this blow is done with the top inch of the jaw to my temple. So again, my main thing is to move out the way and let the blow continue down. This time, don't have tummy. <laughs> well, The blow we're doing now is the back of a closed fist, usually known as Uraken, to the face and again knocks his head back and we open the fist to a hand on his face to complete the throw. In the standard cutter we ignore the jaw but, can you raise it a little bit, it's a good idea to have a and parry in there. Anyway. Shock at ski. So again, our main thing is get the body out of the way from the parry. Yeah? So, shame. Get your body out of the If you think like that, your hands are wide and you're turning your body so it's going to partner's got his left hand forward on the jaw, so I'm coming behind him so that the jaw's away from me. It's more difficult for him to do a secondary attack. I'm getting out of the way and I've got him parrying. So if you think that your arm is not parrying but your body is parrying, and the left hand takes, I'd like me to another boat and this arm, right arm of mine, affects his elbow, breaks his balance, then I pull him forward. This is all the other techniques. The gun is a point of me. The main thing I've got to do is get that away. Yeah? So, you know, so that's about here. You can go and shoot yourself, Tommy. So, concentrate on this, and again, think. Oh, we can come to that in a minute. We've got to explain it for them. So, getting out of the way when I'm doing my technique. So try not to fiddle with it on your face. But think, turn your body. Don't 
Many times in a cutter we're getting out the way of a movement, but now we have to get out the way of the weapon. Because no matter how far I am from this gun, he can still shoot me. So my main thing is to move out the way and parry at the same time. With this one, and turning his hands so good enough. very important once I start that the gun never points at me. May point at him, but that's his hard luck. But one other point is we must never stare at the weapon or show that we're going to start. If I can't move, so relax. Hands up!
this one again, have to be careful not to have the gun pointing at any time. So I carried it here and I turned it round so it's coming out that way. Even when I hit him, if I do it that way, it might explode and shoot me. So any blow must be with the gun pointing away from me. Keeping the gun not pointing at me, even from the beginning. Hands up. Here again, I've turned out the way of the gun. Now I clamp this arm of his, so the fist goes to his shoulder. While that's happening, the gun as well is taken in the same direction, break his bones to his right rib. 